Hello, welcome back. This time I'm here with a kind of a cautionary tale. It's based on a question by Mingao on the quantity mailing list who was having problems with uh, a tense structure. And uh, well, it, uh, it the problem turned out uh, to, to... I'm going to spoil the ending of <laughs> this screencast. The problem turned out to be due to the use of a particular day counter in uh, in a term structure. Well, if you have read uh, what, uh, mm, what I have written about term structure and implementing Quantlib, I mentioned that each term structure has an internal day counter which is used to convert the dates into times and uh, that I suggest to use uh, for this reason, for this task, simple day count conventions like Actual 360, Actual 365, uh, that don't have any particular, any complicated rules, just a number of days divided by a constant factor. And that is because they have uh, ni nicer properties than other day counters have. For instance, in the book I speak about um, day counters being, being, being uh, about it being desirable that day counters are additive. Let's say we have three dates uh, you would expect that the time between the first two dates plus the time between the second two dates equal the time between the uh, well the, the, the first and the last date. This often happens, but with some day counts, the count convention, it doesn't always happen. For instance, in this case, you can see how the the, 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 the two num the two results differ. That's because some well Sunday count convention were calculated to have were were um, created to have regular coupons uh, um, in face of irregular dates irregular coupon dates like six months is not always the same number of uh, of days and f for this reason uh, well making coupon more regular causes them to 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 use particular rules that. Uh, can give some surprising results in some cases. For instance, it may happen with Sunday counters, 3360 is one of them, that uh, you have two different dates, uh, yet uh, the time between them turns out to be zero according to the convention. And, uh, well, the problem in uh, Mingao's question was with another day counter, which is probably the worst offender it is uh, um, is my actual actual and uh, that's because not on, not only that the counter has rules to, to, to regularize the coupons also it's supposed to work uh, not only with the two dates but uh, with a reference period uh, which works as a reference for for the for the for the, the, the particular for the amount of time that uh, we, we are to measure. Well, if uh, you don't pass, uh, unfortunately, you you can mm, not pass uh, the reference value, to the reference period, sorry, to, to the counter because uh, uh, the, the, it's optional in the in the interface of the day counter class because uh, not all of them. Well, as a matter of fact, just this day counter requires a reference period. All the others don't, uh, so we don't require one to be passed to the interface. Unfortunately, this prevents us to, 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 to enforce that uh, this particular day counter is called with a reference period. And if you don't pass it, you get, uh, well, the, the wrong results. So let's say we are working with a reference of six months time because that's the length of the coupons. And uh, we are measuring the, the distance between these two dates. If we do pass the reference period and if we don't, we get different results. Well, the, the, the correct one being the first one. And sometimes this results in spectacularly wrong results, if, especially if, if you, the distance between the two dates exceed the, mm, the, reference, uh, the reference period we were supposed to, 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 to pass. For instance, uh, let's uh, take 
let's well I'm going to take the, 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 the a number of days spanning one one year and I'm going to measure the corresponding time according to the day counter if I don't pass the reference date and I'm going to plot the thing just to show how wrong it is and that's it so over the course of one year the time increases by by jumps so well it's just regular for the first bit and then it's just piecewise flat of course, this is nothing that this is not something that can can be used to convert dates into times with any reliability for interpolation or whatever. If uh, you use it inside a time structure, like I'm doing here, so in, I'm creating a supposedly flat time structure with one percent rate, and this particular day counter as the convention. The day counter doesn't have a concept of a coupon or a reference reference period or whatever. It, all all it can provide to the day counter is its reference date and the date which is asked for 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 results. So if we try to plot the discounts from the discount factors from from this curve again over one year, what we get is uh, well just as wrong as uh, what I've shown. Uh, before we we go the discount is flat uh, and uh, changes by by just at, at particular dates so to make a long story short in realistic use cases uh, you don't need to pass any particular day count to a structure yes you have market convention to 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 to, to enforce but uh, you don't need to one for the the for the term structures uh, you're uh, you're building. You have market conventions for the the, the coupons of bond for the of or or the coupons of swaps for deposits for whatever it is, but uh, you can pass all those conventions to the to the corresponding instruments or to the corresponding mm, helpers that you're going to be using to bootstrap your uh, your market curve. Uh, so if you're, uh, as, 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 I'm, as, I, as I mentioned, in realistic use cases in which you work uh, on the market instruments, uh, so you, you're going to be working with dates. Uh, you're not going. You're not going to, to pass any any times directly to the to your instrument or the structure. You're going to be working with dates, uh, and you're going to retrieve uh, results from the structure again using dates, the dates of the coupon or, or uh, whatever it is you're pricing. This means the date counter in the curve is uh, ever only used uh, in internally for a conversion between the dates that you're using externally and the times uh, which are stored internally. You don't need to pass a particular one, so the safer choice, actual 360, actual 365, is the one that will avoid surprises and still give you correct results for for your for your market instruments. Okay, I guess that's all for today. Thanks as as uh, always for listening and see you next time.